Check one, two, check one, two. This is AGTV. Now, Yasmin Fula, who's Gaddafi's mom, has called out Napoleon. Napoleon recently did an interview where he states that if Tupac was still alive, he wouldn't want Keefe D in jail. So Yasmin took the Instagram to call out Napoleon and said this. He helped cover up Gaddafi's murder that he feeds off of the Tupac gravy train. Check it out. She says, the low lives with unclean hands crawling for clout. We are living in a very dangerous time where history and truth explained by murderers and betrayers. The murder of Tupac covered up for 27 years, confessed by conspirators, books fame and fortune strangled on Tupac's corpse even his dear brother Gaddafi murdered two months. After Tupac fell to the same fate murder, betrayal, cover up. Coincidence or conspiracy? The book is the truth Rashad Clark threatened to kill Gaddafi weeks before then on November 10, 1996 along with his accomplice who put Yaki in a chokehold put the gun to his face and killed him it was planned. It was murder. The accomplice was never charged. The 16-year-old murderer was given a plea deal and did almost three years. He is currently doing 33 years on unrelated drug sales in which two people overdosed on his sales. It was no accident. However, they have pushed this lie by Napoleon who promotes the lie so that he can continue to eat from the gravy train of Tupac lies. Napoleon betrayed Tupac and Gaddafi by covering up his cousin's murder of Gaddafi, calling it an accident and has no business making any comments about the murder of Tupac until he addresses the murder of Gaddafi whose murder he has covered up along with the murderer, his cousin Rashad Clark for 27 years. His cousin threatened to kill Gaddafi, had an accomplice, and did so on November 10, 1996. The book The Homicide of Yaki Gaddafi outlines the same facts surrounding the death of his dear brother Gaddafi, lies, betrayal, set up, police misconduct, stop allowing liars, clout chasers, and frauds to frame the truth of our sons. Blood in my eye. Napoleon does not speak the truth surrounding his family's involvement in Gaddafi's murder. How dare he attempt to speak for our dear son Tupac? And then Napoleon actually responded in the comments. I'm free to make comments on whatever I want to. Who's gonna stop me? Secondly, you keep spreading lies as if I had something to do with what happened between my cousin and Yaki. Zero was in a whole different state when the situation happened. My cousin and Gaddafi became close friends and hung around each other without me as they shared common interest with each other that I don't have to go into details. I wasn't with them when they hung around each other 90% of the time. They developed their own friendship. Also after the incident, I myself flew to New Jersey and made my cousin turned himself into jail. If I was trying to cover up anything, why would I tell my cousin to face responsibility for what he's done? Why would I go against my family and my entire neighborhood by telling my cousin he has to face responsibility for his actions? You also lied and said I was threatened witnesses. Funny how all the witness from Yak Girl who house he was at during the incident all follow me on Instagram and not none of them said I threatened them. And if you are truthful, bring one witness who said I threatened them. My cousin got arrested and did jail time for what he don't to Yaki. I have no power or authority over the judicial system. I sat back for years quietly and watched you drag my name through the dirt regarding an incident that I have nothing to do with. Me saying it was an accident is my opinion, and I have the right to believe my cousin and what he told me. I wasn't there either was you, and my opinion will not bring Yaki back, so why are you trying to bully me to believe what you believe? Did my opinion change the outcome of the verdict? No, my cousin was found guilty and was arrested for what he did to Gaddafi. I wasn't in the court at all, or was eyewitnesses supporting my cousin so stop with these lies and trying to make it seem as if I had anything to do with the incident? What do y'all think? Does she have a point? Comment below. Peace.